Well everyone, iOS 16 Beta 5 just officially came out, so let's go and take a look at it on an iPhone 12 Pro, but it doesn't really matter what iPhone it is. And this is coming off the heels of Beta 4, which came out about two weeks ago, and what I will definitely tell you is I love iOS. I think 16 has been getting better and better through each individual update. Now this update brings a really cool feature which some of you may have already seen, but before we get too deep there, you can see this specific update was about 1.3 gigabytes coming from the previous version of software. So it was a pretty big update, it was not a small one. In fact, I think this was probably even bigger than beta 4, so this one was a 1.61, so not quite as big, but still a very large beta. Now another funny thing some people mentioned is that the other one said developer beta you know, 4, developer beta 3, or beta 3, whatever. This one just says 16.0, so very funny that Apple didn't really you know, place the developer beta or anything at the end. However, one of the cool features that this specific update brought is actually within the status bar. So if I zoom in, you can probably see, if you look very closely on the top right, you can see our battery icon now has the battery percentage within it. This is a massive cool thing that we now have the capability of doing within iOS 16 beta 3. So if you actually are running the iOS 16 beta, which I would not recommend doing, but if you actually want to go ahead and enable this, well, you have the opportunity, as long as you're on iOS 16, the betas, what you can do is you can go ahead and make your way over to your settings icon. So come into your settings application, what you want to do here, scroll down into battery, and you can see that just like on the other iPhones, like the iPhone 8 Pluses and iPhone 8s, we have the ability of enabling our battery percentage here. Now, and this is a double-edged sword, so you can enable it. If I disable it, you can see it goes back here, but if I enable it, it gives us the percentage. Now, like I said before, it puts the you know, icon inside, it puts a number inside of the icon. So that's cool and everything. And this seems to be the only feature within 16 beta 5 that's, you know, crazy noteworthy in my opinion so far that we've discovered. More features will come in the future. But you can see it does kind of take away the actual, you know, percentage of the battery in terms of the actual icon. So you can't see how, you know, full your battery is from here. It just gives you the number. If you turn it off, you can see we still have the, you know, icon percentage behind it. I kind of wish Apple gave us the ability of still seeing that icon and seeing that number as well because that gives us the indication that it's a full battery when it isn't. So hopefully Apple kind of fixes that in the future, but that's basically how you enable it or disable it. And that is a really cool feature. I can see a ton of people bringing that feature up in future betas because that is a crazy cool feature. Now beyond that, I think betas in general with this iOS version have been getting better and better. Some people have been complaining about tap to wake. I did test it a few times on this software version and it seems to be getting you know, seems to be about the same. One thing I've noticed though is that it does seem like every time you click into it, the bottom portion loads up first before the actual wallpaper. So if you click into it, you can see it loads up the actual do not disturb stuff before. Now I have seen some other things, people saying, you know, the iOS 14 wallpaper and the always on display being leaked. I think that's awesome. I am not too sure. I mean, Apple gave us the ability with the last beta of swiping up and deleting the wallpapers here too. So if you want to do that, you can do so. I haven't really had too many issues though in terms of the actual you know problems and everything with iOS 16 so far. Like I said, I'm not running any of these on my main phone, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but for everything that I've been testing on my other devices, it's been fairly stable, a lot more stable in my opinion than the iOS 15 betas, and I do think we're at a really good spot to where when the next iOS version comes out officially, meaning iOS 16, I think we're going to be in a really good spot. The fact that Apple has just given us the ability of enabling our battery percentage right there is actually pretty insane, and I'm actually pretty happy about that. So now the question is, should you install iOS 16 beta, through beta 5 now? As I always say, absolutely not. I don't think it's a good idea. I think there's still going to be lots of issues and lots of problems you're going to be having. In fact, like I said before, if you make your way over to the subreddit for iOS, you will see nothing but, you know, you'll see a lot of people, you know, saying good things about iOS 16, but you will also see equal amount of people complaining about iOS 16 in general because there's still lots of issues. So please do not take the cool little features we're getting here and there as indicators of installing it. Do not install it until it officially comes out, but if you do plan on installing it on a different device, please keep in mind, anytime you have any issues or anything like that, go inside of the feedback application, sign in, and go ahead and let them know any issues that you're having, you know? Let them know about any bugs so they can go and fix it before it officially comes out. So, that kind of covers it. Big update. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.